Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising Weekly Tower Reading, July 22nd to July 28, 28 uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can jump straight away uh, into the reading. Oops. All right, so the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius week, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Aquarius needs to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the full card. Then I, it is the positive aspect of the week and that is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords here. And the last one which stands for the um, guidance that Saro is offering to you Aquarius, this is going to be uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Well, that will be a tough one to be honest. So it does look like uh, Aquarius that uh, you are too diverse uh, throughout, uh, throughout the week not necessarily in a bad way, as a matter of fact, I don't think it is. It is just, uh, it seems that you are going to start paying more attention to yourself than to a, a specific individual that right now is occupying your life. For reason being, recognizing that no matter how much time or an effort you are throwing into that direction toward that person, if they don't want to do it, you can't do it for them, for, for them all right? So instead, you are going to start doing things for yourself. That could be very well involving your child, all right? Just to give you an example, if your child doesn't want to make, to, to do their homework or to study for school, you know, you cannot do their homework for them or to study, to study for their school instead of them, you know? And no matter how much time or an effort you throw in it, if they don't want to, they don't want to. So instead, this time, this time that you, up until this moment, I cannot say really wasted, but yet, let's say uh, throw it somewhere where that time is not needed or unwanted, you are to redirect it into a more productive uh, endeavors for yourself. And that is displayed here in the first card very well with the Six of Pentacles. And in this specific narrative, the Six of Pentacles points only that <clears throat> this time around, your help ain't gonna solve the problem, right? Uh, it can only postpone the problem that someone else's face, but like I said, it's not gonna solve it. So for that, for that reason, you should stop, you know, throwing up resources into a, a direction that these resources does nothing, exactly nothing. And um, instead you should redirect those resources into a more productive themes and topics for yourself, like, um, <clears throat> you know, spending more time with friends, like working upon your hobbies or upon your private business as well. It is all about uh, start taking care more for yourself rather than for the others, rather than for those people who does not want to be cared for. Um, 
look at the card itself, guys. I mean, you do have a rich person here who is giving money to the beggars, right? Well, these money that he is giving to the beggars right now are going to solve the, the beggars' problem, which is, um, you know, famine and homelessness for a day, maybe two. But in two days or in a week, the beggars will be still beggars, all right? So this is what the card represents, that your, uh, your contribution right now means nothing. Well, well, it may mean something to the person, but in the grand scheme of things, it means nothing. It, accomplish, it accomplishes nothing. And uh, instead of throwing everything you got into the nothingness, you should orientate yourself to throw it into things which are to improve your personal uh, circumstances. The accompanied card here is going to be the Emperor and the formation it is a, a passive uh, neutrals so uh, the the direction which you want to help but right now you, it's impossible for you to help uh, at it's uh, this is the reason here with the emperor is very disorganized so until this person does not put their shits together all right there is no point you holding you holding their hand as a matter of fact i do believe with these cards that the more uh, involvement you do have into it the worse the situation becomes because this person becomes way too dependent and they think that you are to solve their problems which obviously you can't and that person throws on their behalf less and less efforts so that being that that being said um you know you are making them a, a favor in reality by detaching yourself from that specific uh, from that specific situation. So uh, the challenging point here is going to be the four card, and that is the the, the detachment. All right. Um, how how do you say it? Um, well, it's detachment really. The detachment of a foreign goal and foreign agenda, and this time around, striving toward your own. Agenda. Now, the full card here points that once you detach, you are to find yourself with a lot of free time and, and spare means, spare resources. And that also will be challenging to think about how you are or where you are going to throw those resources right now, what you are to create with those resources. OK, you are not oppressed or rather pressured to make up your mind straight away. You know, you can take a couple of days or even a week to think about it, how you should proceed forward with your life, as now you do have much more means to uh, to play with. But the full card here urges you to give expression to your ideas that you couldn't up until this moment, you know, and to be a original with your approach, um, you know, and as well try to associate yourself with more and more people, build up a con connections. The accompanied card here is going to be the seven um, of pentacles formation. It is a uh, active enemies, and with the seven of pentacles, uh, the you are gonna feel the, uh, feel a little bit of a guilt, okay, that you abandoned this uh, so-called person in trouble. But like I said. Uh, at the start of the reading, or at the very first card, your contribution there is just making the things worse. It's it's not like it is your intention, but it's just how that situation works. Okay, and yeah, I do understand that you may experience uh, a bit of a guilt, but this is gonna uh, is going to diminish as more time passes. So take your time as well is what we can conclude from these couple of cards to heal if you want to say it that way or to readapt to the new uh to the new circumstances. But it's definitely to um it's definitely a time here uh this week to start thinking about something that will benefit you the most. And the positive aspect here, it is a, uh, another person, by the way, not the one that you are helping out, but it is uh, another one. And that will be the um, Knight of Swords, uh, a very courageous one uh, and a very determined one. Now, the thing with the uh, Knight of Swords is that this person, it's a very original thinker. And the Knight of Swords, it's the one that thinks that everybody, whatever one's experience, they brought them on themselves, okay? Um, because that is for the reason being is that this one is a fighter, 
okay they they do not make excuses when they are up to something they simply do it they don't waste their breath in words the page wastes its breath in words this one he prefers to act so um <clears throat> What happens here is that this person is going to reassure you that you actually made the right decision to make that detachment or they are going to encourage you furthermore to make that decision to detach yourself from this futile contribution into a situation which simply it's not your battle. The accompanied card here is going to be the page of um, <clears throat> the page of cups formation it is a active neutrals and it is a pretty rough guy i would say someone who is very unyielding in regards to their standpoint you're gonna find it very difficult to argue which is a good thing all right and uh, you're gonna also find it very difficult to see remorse and also pity commiseration in in such in this person in that nature here which is exactly the recipe of uh not exactly selfish, uh, selfishness, but more like a uh, orientation, want to think for oneself first and foremost, because uh, and then think for the other, or rather, or, or at least you know recognize when the time is. How can I place it? Uh, the situation demands it. Okay. And the last card here, which we do have, it is the. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, which is the guidance for your queries. So, uh, Wheel of Fortune, uh, it's have a, a very broad interpretation. It does depend how this detachment is gonna end up. This is a recommendation card after the process of detachment ends. And the card points that there are to be uh, a lot of things that you can capitalize on and you, uh, and um, capitalized on and how can I place it? Utilize, okay? Like I said at the start, you are to find yourself with a lot of spare time, with a lot of free resources. And now you can use those resources and that spare time to create a tremendous things. And uh, also to change your life for the better. This change could be once in a lifetime change or once in a lifetime opportunity as well. Well, basically what the card here really says is that your potential to do something good for yourself and to dramatically improve your circumstances is enormous. And the accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Cups formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. So we still see the uh, feeling of remorse here in these um, in these two cards and that feeling of remorse could be a real deal i mean it could be a a, a real pain in the a um, and it could obstruct you of um of basically taking advantage of this uh, of this favorable time for yourself uh, what I could say here with these couple of cards, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups, is that you should not um, seek the easy profit or the easy win, uh, if I may express it that way. And uh, do not satisfy yourself with less, but rather it should be either all or nothing. Okay, It's simply what these two cards are pointing out in addition to the feeling of remorse and uh, and regret that uh, you are to have toward that person which you seemingly abandoned, forlorn, which that was not really the case. In reality, you made them a, a favor. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for July 22nd to July 28th, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.